Welcome to the Drupal for Non-Techies, how to create your own YouTube. Do you want to add an element of interactivity to your Drupal 2.0 community website? Do you want your site to stand out from the crowd through the use of a fully functional, robust Drupal video tutorial to add your very own YouTube? Do you want your visitors to search and compare videos by typing in a keyword in your search box where they're going to get all the videos displayed that matches their search query? In this first part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how I can go ahead and add a YouTube video that I've uploaded earlier today onto my Drupal credit repair website. I first go to my cashcats.com and log in and I click on the create content in the simple menu and click on the video link. Then when I click on the create video link, I will land on this page where I can submit a video. In the title box, I'm simply going to type in how to install Drupal 6.9 run WAMP. In the video underscore URL field, I'm simply going to go to the YouTube website and I'm going to locate the how to install Drupal tutorial run WAMP on the YouTube website and I'm going to grab the URL which is, you see me point the arrow there in the URL field, I'm going to cut and paste that entire URL right there and I'm going to go back to my Cash Cats submit video area and I'm going to paste the video URL, YouTube URL, right in that field that I've created. In the body, I'm simply going to type in I love Drupal. Then we're going to scroll down and under the publish options, we're going to expand that window and make sure that we've selected published. Then we're going to click the submit button. What you've just done is you've just gone ahead and embedded a YouTube video right onto your Drupal website. After you click submit, you're now going to see the actual full video node, which is the URL address is cashcats.com forward slash node forward slash 79. So you can see the title that I typed in, you can see the YouTube video right here, and you can see where I've typed in I love Drupal. So if you go to my video page where you can see the URL in big big letters here, cashcats.com forward slash media forward slash video, you will see the video on the bottom of the page. So go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and you can go ahead and actually put the most recent video on the top. I've just chosen to put the most recent video on the bottom of my video page. This is actually a Drupal Yoga website out of Victoria, BC, Canada. They've activated the Views module and this is a list of different yoga thumbnail videos on this video page. Another thing I want to mention is that you'll notice that if you look at your competitor sites, few sites have created as much depth as the one which uses views to display a table of thumbnail size YouTube videos which is shown in this excellent example right here. Believe it or not, having a views list of thumbnail size videos actually makes it easier to reference the content your visitors are looking for. So if I were to click on the tiger thumbnail video where you see me point the arrow, I'll actually go to the full node. Notice the URL is victoriayoga.com forward slash node forward slash 481. And then if I click on the play button, it will play this tiger yoga posture video for me. Again, when you click on the thumbnail, you'll actually go to the full video node where it's actually blown up and the yoga video is actually much larger than the thumbnail size. Whatever product or service you're trying to sell, having your YouTube video where your members can add their own YouTube video onto your website is very innovative. The user interaction creates a friendly experience and keeps your site looking fresh on every visit. I welcome you to take my three hour long how to create your YouTube at easydrupaltutorials.com. You will learn how to create a teaser view of the video. When the visitor clicks on the video itself, they will go to the full node which you saw in the previous example in the Yoga Tiger video thumbnail. And you can have them actually automatically start playing the video like you see on this Cash Cats 
facebook.com forward slash media forward slash video page. Go ahead and type that URL in your browser and click on the title tag where you see do you know the difference between what a FICO and a credit score is. When you do that you're going to go to the full video node and it will start automatically playing. You're going to start to hear Susie Orman start talking about FICO scores in the, in, in, in the video itself. So the question to ask yourself is what Drupal video module do you download? Do you download this video module? If you have a lot of time on your hands and 